Hi, this is just a quick video comparing the FeatureTech AW07A versus the Sark 100 anterior analyzer. Now, I did a video on this last week and I thought I'd do a video this week comparing the two. Now, this one goes online for around about £157, but I got it second hand for 120 130 I can't remember now, I've had it about a year or so. And this one's going for around about £70, and that was brand spanking new. Now, both units are as they are out of the box. They haven't been calibrated or anything like that. I'm just using it as they would come out the box. The main differences between the two units is that one, this one here, the Feature Tech, does VHF, UHF, and it's also got a frequency counter, where this one is just HF. So let's find out, will these units give the same results, or will they give different results? And I'm testing these on 10 meters and 11 meters. So would it be the same results? Would they be different or what would they both be way off? So let's find out. So I'll turn that one on. Let me zoom in. You can see there it says I'm on 14 megs, so that's 20 meters. Let's change the band. So 17, 15, 12, 11. And it's sitting there at 27 megs dead on. It's 1.31, so let's go up a bit. So, 27,300 is giving us 1.13. So, write it down. Let's go up again. Let's try it at 700. Twenty-seven seven hundred is giving us one point oh seven. Now let's try it on ten meters. Band here on ten meters. And let's go down. I want to do just twenty-eight. Should get a bit faster in a sec. Come on. There we go. So let's try 28, 350 is 1.23. Let's go up again. We'll do it about 700 again. So 28,700 is 1.18. You'll notice that this unit isn't actually drifting. 700. 1.18. Let's try second part of 10 meters. Let's try 350 like the other one. So, 29,350, 1.05. And let's try 700. And 700 is 1.3. So now, would the other unit give us similar results? Or would it give us completely different? Let's find out. Zoom out. Now this one tends to drift a bit on HF. So I'm going to try and get as close as I can to it. So on, up, up again. And bandy. Let me zoom in. Don't get any better. Okay, so we're going to try twenty-seven three thirty. So as near as I can get it, and it's giving us twenty-seven three thirty. It's giving us 
So the other one was giving us uh, 1.13. So still on oh, it's drifting off again. Let's go up, go up a bit. So it's drifting. Okay, so let's try 27 700. And news on get it. Probably drifting too much. It's better than I'm gonna get it. So 27700 is 1.2. The other one's giving us 1.2 uh 1.18. So let's try 28 uh 350. News on get it. It's drifting off. 28, 350, he's given us around about 1.2, 1.3, I say 1.3, let's try 28, 700. Can't get it 700. So, where are we? That'll do. 708, there are 1.2. Can't get it bang on 700. So, 700, 1.2. The other unit gave us 1.18. So let's try 29,350. Again, I'll try and get it bang on, but it's very difficult with this unit drifting. Uh, Dave, 350, say around about 350, 1.3. And we'll try it on 700, so 29,700. Again, as close as I can get it. I have to do 1.4. The other one was giving us 1.3. So, there we go. Just done a quick comparison between the two units. You zoom out a bit. Which one do you think is better? Is it this one because it's not drifting? Or is it this one? Maybe I have to do a test with a conventional SWR meter. But all I know is that my area was nice and low. For the SWR on 10 and 11 metres. And uh, I was writing it down on an old scrap of paper there. There you go. I'd like to say thank you very much for watching this video. And I'll catch you in the next one. 73 is 2E0 IQJ. 73.